All right. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, people. Welcome to the channel. This is Hades, and I'm happy to have you along. Welcome, everyone, to a new game on the channel, namely Kenshi. If you don't know about Kenshi, it is a real time strategy action role playing game developed and published by Lo Fi Games. It is an open world sandbox experience where Kenshi offers a vast and unforgiving world with no set storyline, where you can choose the path of a trader, explorer, warrior, thief, or anything else that you can imagine. The world of Kenshi is harsh, and your character will need to contend with hunger, thirst, and the dangers of the environment and other inhabitants. It is squad-based, that means that you can recruit other characters to join your squad and build a thriving settlement or a fearsome bandit group. It is skill-based progression, where characters can improve their skill through actions such as fighting, stealing, or crafting. And there are worldly consequences, where the world reacts to your actions. You can build a reputation or notoriety that can affect how you interact with different factions. Now, I have never played this game before, so it's going to be a semi-blind playthrough. I have to admit, though, that I have watched a tutorial about this, and thank you to Dr. Incompetent for that. It has greatly improved my knowledge of the game, but as I said, I have never touched the game before. So we will be starting off almost blindly in it. So let's get going. Let's start a new game. And we will choose the Wanderer because it says here, this is the way that the game is intended to be played. So you start off with just a, a, a lone Wanderer with nothing but a few coins, a pair of pants, and a rusty sword. But you are ready to adventure out in the world. So let's do just that. Too many corpses left around will attract predators as well. That's good to know. I hope you are you guys are doing fine. I'm doing fantastic. I got back an hour ago from a four and a half hours hike with a friend of mine and a member of our community. And we have walked for thirteen and a half kilometers. I am a little bit tired. But I feel good, I feel invigorated, and the forests that we walked through were just amazing. The sounds of the forest have helped me unwind a little bit and just empty my head. So I am fresh and full of vigor to start this playthrough with you guys. Now let's start up game sound so that you guys have some ambience there and then we will see what the day brings us please don't forget that you have at your disposal the channel appoint rewards you have sound alerts you have stickers so let's keep this stream entertaining for everyone Alright, character creation. Well, uh, there we go. We will want to be a human grasslander and we will be a male. I'm not gonna be bothering with this. This is a lot. 
So you can customize hair, you can customize body, you can do everything. We will just randomize some stuff and see what the AI comes up with. Huh? Hello. You actually look good. You look like I would look if I would be a grasslander. Right? Hey, Friggy, welcome in, buddy. How are you doing? Uh, skin tone height. That's something that I want to have. I'm gonna make you a big boy. There we go. And where's the name? We will call you that Rusty Rookie because he's our first ever character in this game. Um, I would actually like to have a little bit bulkier legs because he looks funky otherwise. Alright, I'm happy with his look. Let's get going. Let's see what this game has in store for us. There we go. And Rusty Rookie has been born. So. There is a lot here. A lot. Why is my mouse... Right, stuff is loading in, I suppose. So we will have a little bit of movement the basic controls you can move the camera with WASD is to rotate your view hold the middle mouse button to zoom use the mouse scroll to both to continue All right so WASD moves the camera your character stays in place Hold the middle mouse button to rotate your view and to zoom in, zoom out, just scroll in, scroll out. Friggy, my day was marvelous. My day was marvelous. I posted some pictures on the Discord channel for you guys to, to see where I've been today. It was just awesome. The weather was awesome. I had good company. I am tired, to be honest. But other than that, everything is just fine. Uh, the middle button panel shows the characters in your active squad. To select a squad member, left click the character icon on the panel. Let's left click on him. Select him. To give, give a move order to your character, right click on the terrain. There we go. Double click on your character icon to center, center on screen and follow their move. Right click on a character or Interactable objects to interact. Hold the right mouse button on to get more available action. Right character. Interactable up. Interactable objects. What is an interactable object? Alright. Let's find an interactable object. Oh, if you if you keep the right mouse button pressed, you can actually move him around as you Alright. That's good to know. That's something I haven't seen in the tutorial. Uh, interactable object.
Hmm. What counts as an interactable object? Right. Let's talk to the barkeep. Maybe this helps. Oh, it didn't. Right click on characters. Let's finish. All right. Uh, GUI overview. Ja, mein Bester. Heute war ein echt guter Tag. Echt guter Tag. Wie gesagt, ich bin müde, aber fühle mich prächtig. All right. Uh, select a character from your squad. This shows your selection states, statistics, and other basic info. Mouse over it item for more information right i'm nameless i am normal aimless so here are our stats attack defense strength dexterity we are weak as shit so what Another thing that uh, you have to know, this game is permadeath. So if your character dies, the game is, o is over. One way to circumvent this is to have several characters, because that way, if one of, well, if your main character, in this case Rusty Rookie, dies, the next one in line will take over and you can uh, just pick up where you left off. No penalties, but if your one character dies, the game's over. Bye bye, and you have to reroll. All right, this is that is. Uh, this shows the selected character's current alt condition. Mouse over each item for more info. All right, blood. Racial bleed rate multiple. Head is okay, chest is okay, so on and forth. So, the arrow button allows you to pause and fast forward the game. Yeah, these are Bärenspuren. Wir haben angehalten, um uns ein bisschen auszuruhen, und da waren die Bärenspuren da. Zum Glück waren die nicht, äh, nicht von heute. The arrow button, so these ones. Play, pause, on and so forth. And you can pause the game whenever you are doing stuff so that time doesn't pass. Like when trading. Got that from uh, from Doctor Incompetence tutorial, and of course one more thing, uh, you can also um, start time and speed up time with F two, F three, F four, and space uh, stops pauses time. All right. Here you'll find your character's current funds and the in-game time and date. So we have 1,000 credits and it is day one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Let's pause time until we... This opens the build menu. 
All right. So there's a build menu, small shack, camping, embed, campfire, farming, lights, mining, and tech. Uh, here you're, you can open your inventory, skill statistics, world map, tech, and squad management menu. For more tips and tutorials, make sure to check out the help menu at the very bottom. So let's close this up. Oh, okay. Inventory, stats, map, tech, squad, and help. This shows assigned player's job and orders for the settlement character. Okay, so block, hold, passive, job, range, taunt, and sneak. Also rescue, medic, prospect, and so on. Alright, let's uh, tell him to be a medic from the get-go. There you go. Uh, what do I do? There is no linear story or mission to guide you through Kenshi, be a trader, a thief, a bounty hunter, a farmer, or even a warlord. Yeah. We will try to build the biggest, baddest faction in this game. You'll need to explore the world and find your own adventure. Uh, tap the M key to open up the map. You can use the world map to navigate and find nearby towns or points of interest. Alright, so there is another town there. Uh, to cash in your loot, you'll need to find a store, use the map to navigate to nearby town and find shops. Survive alone in the world of Kenshi won't be easy, but hiring new recruits will help. Check the town bars for mercs, or buy animal companions from any of the farmers outside of town. town. Remember, you are not special and you are not stronger than everybody, everyone else. Train hard, pick up, pick your fights wisely, and don't be afraid to run like crazy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> when building walls, you need to be careful not to place them facing inside out. The arrow key you have the outside facing direction of the wall. You can use the end button to rotate before placing them. Oh, okay. So the Greater and smaller than button. That's what it means. Uh, as with other buildings, you can only place them when they glow green. Once you are happy, left click to set it down to finish the link, right click. Right? Building mode. First, select a building you want to construct from the panel. In building, a small shack will allow you to build a research bench inside with, the, inside. with this you can learn and unlock new tech. Next, choose where to place the building on the terrain. If the building shows red, there is an obstruction and you cannot place it. If blue, you are too close to another town. If green, you're good to go. To rotate the position of the building, use the greater than and smaller than. Once you're happy, left click to place the building and hit the confirm button. Select squad members and right click the construction to begin adding materials they have. They have them. Okay. Uh, construction will be much quicker depending on the number of people who are assigned and their engineering skills. 
what do I do in towns? You've discovered your first town. town towns are perfect for stocking up on supplies and selling loot. The, ca the cash in your loot, you'll need to find a store. Oh, to cash in your loot, you need to find a, a store. Hold Alt key. Show nearby shop sign. Uh, Alt key. Be wary of entering private buildings. Red residents often don't like trespassers. You can find out where a building is marked public or private by selecting the building. Also, most shops close at night. Right. And apparently that's, that's that. Uh, in the meantime... No, dude. No, no. I want you to go to talk to the shopkeep. Because I know you're gonna need food. Uh, let's do business. And we are looking for... Meat wrap. Dried fish. Let's pause. Basic first aid kit. Gonna get one. Let me repair key. That doesn't help much. Rice ball. Vision twenty five. Price one hundred seventy nine. This is eight hundred. This is four hundred. Seven hundred. Two ninety nine, four hundred. All right, rice bowl it is. I'm gonna grab the second one as well. Just have it. All right. Uh, I have no clue what uh, what else would be useful for me right now. So we're gonna be leaving it alone. How to steal? I don't want to steal. Careful trying to open locked items and doors is illegal and could land you in trouble. Well, if you get caught, that is. As a rule of the cursor shows red, then that action is hostile or illegal. All right, well, there is a saying an uncut is a good business. Entering sneak mode will help reduce the chance of you getting caught while committing crime. You can find the sneak button at the bottom right of the UI. This one. No, this one, this is the run. Always run. This one um, makes your squad walk or run at the same pace. This is walking, this is running. You always want to run, at least that's what I'm told. Alright, hold the right, right mouse button and select pick lock. The percentage amount this page shows your chance to see. The lower the number, the longer it will take to pick. Your lock picking depends on the thievery skill stat. The steal, to steal individual items displayed on shelves and tables, hold Alt and right click on the item. All right, and it's that we are done with the tutorial thing. 
Alright. Uh, Rusty, we need to make some money. And for that, I've heard that the best thing at the beginning is to go mining for copper. And copper is found here. So come here. Right, Rust is tracking, and as soon as we're outside, we will tell him to go in sneak mode. Sneaking. By toggling the sneak button, you are entering stealth mode. In this mode, you can perform stealth knockouts, kidnaps, and steal stuff. The sneak cursor displays two icons, an eyeball and a sun. When the eyeball is red, it means that you are in view of nearby NPCs. When the eyeball is blue, it means that you are currently out of enemy sideline. Alright, we're blue. The sun icon shows the light level. When the sun is shaded, you are at your least visible. And nightfall is prime time for To perform steel knockout, right click on an NPC while sneaking. The percentage shows the chance of success. The higher your assassination skill, the higher the chance. To kidnap a KO'd NPC, hold right click on them and select kidnap from the command. Perma jobs. Uh, you can organize your squad. Dude, didn't I tell you to do? To do that? Yes, I did. You can or organize your squad by assigning them jobs in the order menu. Uh, the is especially useful for farms, mines, and other production jobs. Since assigned characters will automatically store and replenish the raw materials as they work. To assign a job, select a character, then hold shift while right clicking to interact with the object or building you wish to assign them to. You can give characters multiple jobs. Topmost job in the order menu will always take priority over lower assigned jobs and drag jobs to reorder them. You can remove a job and time by pressing the X button. Finish that. Alright, let's speed up time so we get some materials in. As I understood it, this menu shows the progress here. And the materials appear here, just like that. And in order to get the materials, you just have to open your inventory and drag it over there. Now, there is a weight limit. As you can see, 10 per 16 is our weight now. We are weightless because we're not encumbered, but encumbrance is something real in this game. The character we will eat the food in his inventory um, automatically when he's hungry, and we will recover um, his hunger stats. So let's mine a little bit here. Uh, this speed will increase there drastically. If we look into here, right now we are working on laboring, which is going up. It is already level 4, and that means that 
stats affected are mining and using machinery and it has a 0.54x not sure what that means but it means something and as he's progressing with his work well ways to train is hard work which he is doing so as you can see as long as he's mining this laboring skill is going up So, uh, inventory and what's the, ah, so shift right click is take all. You know that, you see that the inventory slots are limited, so we can fit two more. Can we arrange this somehow? Uh, yeah, actually we can fit three more now. So we're going to be doing that while we are keeping an eye on the eye. If it turns yellow, it means that there is a possibility that you got spotted. If it turns red, you are definitely spotted. And when this turns red and you zoom in on your character, there will be some arrows pointing in the direction that the Potter is located in. One more, so we get full. Uh, this window can hold up to five items, as far as I'm informed. Oh, and one more thing that I learned from uh, Dr. Incompetent is to keep your characters on passive. Oh, I see issues. I'm out of here. Pause the game. And where's the city gate? And we will tell our character to track up there. I saw a band of something. Yeah, let's take him out of sneak mode and go into here. Uh, turn this guy. Let's trade and drop all that copper into why is my there we go that brings us up up to 1600 credits or cats or whatever the thing is it is not mentioned Oh, let's call it credits. All right. Some pause. And it is nighttime right now. Let's check down here where we saw the, those raiders or whatever they were. Are they gone? No, dude. No, that's not what you're gonna do. You're gonna come back here and on track rocking. Right, daytime is coming again.
we will make a little bit of money and after that we will move to this city here it has more shops and it is well, better protected but i want to make a little bit of money before One thing that I saw happening and is disturbing me is that my mouser gets locked when I press control. Oh, I've, I'm spotted. I am spotted. Let's pause the game. And tell my character to truck over here. They came out of sneak mode. And let's truck. Alright. Well, got a little bit of. Uh, Copper there. Let's sell that and we will be moving to the other city. Show me your goods. Close that. And let's sell. Alright, we are up to 2000 credits. So now, we will tell our guy to come over here, this city, go, let's keep an eye on him, actually you know what, I want you to go there in sneak mode, it's gonna take a longer time but we will know if something bots us and also our skill will be going up. If you guys like the game and would like to learn a little bit more about it, go check out Dr. Incompetence Guide. I found it very informative and it really makes a difference in starting out. Really, really makes a difference. I'm keeping this zoomed out just to be mindful of my surroundings and to see where enemies can lurk.
That sound doesn't work well with my ears. Oh, we have been spotted. Let's take him out of sneak mode so he can track faster. Oh, we've been spotted by the guards. Okay, never mind. And we are here. We are here. Uh, this town is called Squin. It is ruled by the Shek Kingdom faction. We don't have any re uh, relationships with them. They have 36 out of 36 residents. Actual number is 49. Residents Drifters, Shinobi Thieves, Tech Hunters, Shik Tech Kingdom, and lots of ninjas. Alright. We have arrived, we have saved successfully, and let's have a look. This is the inn. So let's go along. These houses can be purchased. These houses can be purchased. Purchase a house. Click on it. Buildings for sale. Uh, some buildings are available for purchase. This panel will tell you how much the building costs with the button to buy it. So down here it says that it is 7200 credits. We are a bit far away from it. But as you have seen, a little bit of mining here and there will help us along. So let's go the other end. Continue. You can also often build destroyed buildings for a cheaper rate. You must then repair the building before it can be. Alright. So, there's a shop here which is locked right now because it's night time. And I am gonna be looking around to mine a little bit. And in order to mine... We have to know where to mine. Ooh, what are you? You are... Starving Bandits. Right? When daytime comes, I'm looking to buy a backpack. Backpacks come into this slot and they allow you to stack items. See, he already ate something. He already ate something and his hunger meter will go slowly up. We still have one of food. But until daytime comes, I want to... Prospect. There we have it. And I want to prospect copper. You can move this with the W, A, and T e keys. And find our target, which should be somewhere around here. Uh, that around right here. So I'm gonna tell him to come over here. Go into sneak mode. Mining while at night will decrease our rates. But luckily, it's daytime, and we can we can hammer this out. So I am gonna grab some copper, and I'm gonna bring it back to the shop 
sell it and I'm gonna buy a backpack. That is the goal for day three in Kenji. Our our that's ooh laboring la level thirteen and trucking right oh crap nope that's not what I wanted to do uh if the process of mining started and you leave it stays where you left off so it's not gonna be uh, reduced to zero. Which is good. As in every survival game, um, it is hard at the beginning, it's hard to start out, but once you get the ball rolling, it will get drastically better. Oh, I see something there. What are you? Alright, you see that bar started to go up faster and faster. You can have up to two workers on this node. Right now we have one, so our efficiency is at 40%, but the max efficiency is 80. So if we will have a second, whoa! All right, they're gone. Rust is okay. Keep on trucking, my man. Oh, he's out of food as well. Have you guys played this game before? I would appreciate some advice from you guys. Being a noob is always hard. How many can we hold? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect! Well, we're out of food. That's no good. So, how are you doing, my man? Oh, okay. Hunger's good. So, we're, allow we're gonna... It does! That's why I decided to play it. That's why I decided to play it. It is an open world RTS ARPG, so it actually contains everything that I like about the game. All right, we got what we came for.
Let's get this dude into town. He's been seen by the guards, which is no issue. Let's pause the game and tell him to move into there. All right. Hello. Pause the game. I'm going to be pausing often because I don't want time to elapse on me while I'm browsing stuff and so on and so forth. Oh, actually, I don't even need to press control to do. All right. Nice. 3,500 credits. And I want a... I'm back, back. So these are all the same backpacks. All thieves backpack. Garu backpack. So backpack designed for guards. This is a backpack designed to fit bulls. Okay. So medium backpack it is. Is there any difference? No. So we're gonna buy that. What are these? Books. Open the bag. Guys don't have any food. Oh, okay. We got our backpack. We got what we came for. Let's look for the bar. Uh, hold. Yep, there's the bar. Let's go see if we can get something to eat. I need to familiarize myself with the controls. And this is the guy we want to. Let's trade. All that. And this is what we are looking for dried meat. Why are you not stacking stuff? Huh. I suppose this is not the right backpack? Have a look at our dude. No. Right backpack up at three. Does this guy we oh come on uh yeah my machine go back Right, Rusty. 
get out of here and let's look for this guy show my show me what you got so this is an armor all right we're not ready for armor yet um So then what is this? Nothing. And it is night time again. That seems to be a shop as well. That's an inn. Alright, as far as I know, you can recruit people from an inn. You have to talk to them. And he wants 7,500 cats. Okay, so cats is the currency. I don't have that much money. How about you? Yes, I am. He wants 3,000 cats. Okay, so as I know this... The amount of money actually means... That a character is better skilled. Like this one has 18 attack power and 22 defense power. This one has only 4 and 3. This one has 34. How much do you want? Uh, an outsider. Yeah, let's do this around here. Alright, anyone else in here? No. Alright. Let's go back trucking at the copper mine. Wait. What's in here? Oh, this is the bar. Isn't it? Yes, it is the bar. Right? That there is closed. So apparently, I've been mistaken about the backpack. What the? Come back here. 
and as soon as we get out of the gates we will be going back into sneak mode Now, our next objective is to get a second person into our team. For that, we need 3000 credits at least. Would be nice 7000, but yeah, that's not gonna work for us. Oh, I see damage numbers. See how much faster that bar fills up? Alright, we got the five pieces. Yeah, backpack more storage, but apparently that the guy that I was looking at is a bit old and there were some updates because oh wait I have to put him back to work because um, there should have been the possibility a backpack that allows you to stack items. So that they're not like this, but uh, in stacks of 5, 9, or however my, uh, many the possibility allows for. But it seems that this is not the case. All right, just a second, I have an incoming call.
and I'm back. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so we can see that the copper ore is valued at an average price of 180 cats, was it? But the sell value is 155. That means that we get 155 credits for each copper that we drop. So let's hope that we will not get uh, attacked. So we can get a bunch in and be rich <laughs> soon. I really want to get another person in because then we can trade together and trade. We can mine together and that means double the amount of copper mined and sold of course. After we get in our second person we will focus on buying a building that will uh, restore to its original state and we can start actually developing things in there. And also a tertiary goal will be to get a third person for the group. So that I can have Two people mining and one pe one person on research. Alright, our backpack is full. So now we will be filling up our inventory and taking it from there. I actually hope that there is a backpack that allows for stacking because otherwise we will be in trouble. Although when, as I saw it, when I have people out mining, as soon as this output is full, one of them will run back to our dwelling, deposit the items, and come back, start mining again. Es gibt auch Eisen, aber Eisen ist nicht so uh, gut für Geld machen Kupfer. Und ich, ich nehme mal an auch andere Metalle, aber ich habe ich hab nicht so viel nachgeguckt. I saw some movement around here. Wir werden auch Eisen brauchen, weil das wird notwendig für andere Sachen. Aber zur Zeit Kupfer ist das Beste, um Geld zu machen. Das ist, was wir brauchen. Geld, Geld und mehr Geld. Ups. Okay. Let's grab that. Found. We have been spotted by something. Let's tell him to truck over there. I'm not sure what sauce, but I don't want to dwell too much on that. Turn off sneak. Okay. Natürlich. Genau. Genau wie im 
Party im Leben. Ne? Wait, that, that's the backpack that I wanted. Right. So we will be trading all this. Move all this meat. out of there because I'm gonna be selling that backpack sell that buy that back now it stacks it stacks now we have 4,000 credits, we can actually go and buy ourselves a friend. Well, buy. Hire. Not buying. Our slave. Our slave. Our friend. Bar. Dwelling. I want yeah keep on tracking trucking baby right pause and so you're 34 you're 80 so oh, these are the same people that uh that were here earlier Talk to her. And three thousand credits. There we go. And we will name our friends according to our community and since we have some people here the first one well is a female i wanted to call her i wanted to call her friggy But she's a female. Uh, just a second, my apparently my wife is get into the building. Book. Just one moment. Problem solved. So Friggy, do you want to be a female warrior? Warrior? No, you know what? I'm gonna call her Maria. There we go. 
Now she has 125 hit points, plus 20% toughness, attack, plus 20% strength, plus 10%. All right, there we go, and Maria has joined our crew. Let's go work. Uh, wait, I am turned around a little bit, but we're f we're gonna figure this out. Let's have them come over here. And she will be passive. And they're both gonna be sneaky when time comes. Yes, your wife is in my crew. Oh yeah, I want to this and put them both over here. Ah, All right, and we are here. So, oh, wrong button. And we're going out. Uh, round. Where is that copper? Want them both to come here. Want them leaky. We're gonna have a look. I will be working them to the bone. Next goal is to buy a house. And the house is 7,200 credits. That's gonna be a ways away. Uh, up time. Someone saw us, so let's truck back to the... They lost our scent. We will be keeping up an eye on them. What? Oh, wrong dude. And Ori, grab all that. What's your deal? Still getting used to the controls. Uh, yes, this time it does. Nope. M. Okay. Team. Stacks up. That's gonna help a lot. No, there are a bunch of guys going past us. They haven't spotted us yet. Oh! Pause. And... Both of you truck over here and do that.
Oh, those guys left. They just up and left. Yep. Uh. That was a security check. So shift right click is take all. Ooh, they stack to a lot. More copper, more money. I want to drop a number of them onto Maria so that is weighed down in order to help her increase her strength. Right. Can handle one more. There you go. More money. See how that weight is going? We need to buy some more dried meat. The next day. So 10 copper is So it's a stack of nine. One thousand five hundred fifty or ten. That means we need four stacks. Five stacks. That's going to take some time. Keeping an eye on the eye. Alright, morning time is coming, so our production should be increasing.
I'm getting mixed up with the buttons. By the way, this race consumes more than the Greenlander. Check, check, I believe they're called. They consume more food. 1350 credits and I need 7200 to buy the building. Plus I need... money to buy the materials to recondition the build. I'm keeping my eye on the face bar to pause the game if needed. Five thousand red. Back. Holy crap, seven stacks. To buy the house, plus what we need to recondition the house. And then we need some more to buy another person for our tribe. Oh, oh. Laboring is level 40 already on him and level 14 on Maria. We're doing good, people. We are doing good. That's no good. Oh, we were not in sneak mode. Right? Rock in, rock in like there's no tomorrow. Get in there since we are here. Let's trade. There. Now. Show me your goods. That. Let's trade the stacks. Seven thousand eight hundred. 
Perfect. Perfect. Here's this hovel. Which I want to buy. Yes. And I want check its status. The condition bar is function of use. Right. Oh, come on. Okay, build. No, that's not what I'm looking for. And to public condition pro. Our Where is the long hair there? Right. Now, building condition is poor. We need 17 building materials and we got 680 credit. That's so let's come over here, talk to that guy, show me your wares, pause, and he does not have building material. Right, well, that only means that we need to work more. Both of you come over here. And sneak. I said, both of you come over. The eye is red because the guards see us, but that's it. For now. Right? Gonna be filling Maria back up. Welcome in, people! Who's here with us? Come say hi, don't be shy. Nobody's biting in here. See how the speed decreased due to night time? At one point we will be able to put down a torch here, so that they have a light source. That's gonna be helping us along a lot. How's our food status actually? Ooh, crap. Alright, in the morning I have to take care of this. In the morning time, where the weather is fine. Do 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 
and we can stack up again. Um, well, if Maria would have a backpack, but I haven't bought a backpack for her yet, because if I weigh her down and she works like that, she actually increases strength. Uh, where is it? Oh, a Apparently, I'm mistaken about that a little bit. Uh, Not sure. Apparently, I'm mistaken. Oh, crap. Money, money, money in the house. Okay, food is gone, so we should be getting back to town to buy some more food. Alright, pause. And get them both. I said both. Yeah. And let's... That. See how her strength is going up because she's weighed down and also running. So yeah, see strength level two, perfect. That's what I wanted to see. All right, let's check out. Oh man, it's gonna take a while until I get used to the controls. And them both in. Let's trade, pause that. We can have that. Trade. Why didn't the f Did I get the food from the bar? Nope. Ah, come on. Is the bar? No. Oh, that's the bar. So uh, let's get right there. Actually, that wasn't rusty. This is rusty. Where's that bar tent? Oh, let's trade. Pause. 
but only three this time. Ah, come on. That's not gonna be enough. Where else can I get food from? Is there a vendor in here? Trade? Yeah! There we go. That's what I want. Wheat! A game? Get back. Get them back. Hmm? Uh. What the? Where are where is the generals? No, oh, there. No, this not the general. Oh, okay. Get those. And... Yeah, I hope they should reset every day. As far as I know. But... What is this? What? What just happened? I am injured, I know. But what happened? I am KO'd. Uh, how to escape prison? What happened? I went into someone's house? I freaking went into someone's house and they didn't appreciate that. All right. I went into someone's house, apparently. I thought this is a hoochery. Frack!
How can she bail me out? Crap! Crap, crap, crap. Well, I guess it's all on you, dear. Well, I suppose I'm gonna wait for my sentence. Gonna wait my sentence out, apparently. Uh... Yeah, but but I'm getting out of but but. Well, at least we can up her mining skill a bit. Laboring level 19. Not bad. What was that? Oh, I've been released. Thank you. I am hurt, though. What? Be a medic, too. Come over here. Holy crap, that didn't go well. Well, at least Rusty Rookies. Oh, Tab. And both of you come over here. Off. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it is lengthening time. And those guys will be actually following us to the gates. Uh, dude, come back here. What's he doing? Oh, okay, never mind. He's just an idiot. He is just an idiot. Oops. What? 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 
Oh crap. What am I doing? Why isn't this... Why isn't this showing? That's not what I'm looking for, that... Okay. What, am I forbidden to trade or something? What's the deal? Anyone? Oh, I saw. Oh, you don't have any shit. Can I buy all these? Can. I don't know what caused this. Right, we're halfway through. Okay.
Well, this set us back a little bit. Oh, Friggy. That stretch, actually, uh, is welcome. We need to get more food. That's what we need. And we need more construction material. Yeah, I did. I did. I needed that. I wonder what the issue was with uh, with the buildings that they didn't appear as usual. We only got two food food left and it's eight o'clock in the morning two stacks of copper though Keeping an eye on the clock as well, so that I can go back to the town before the shops go. I think I'm gonna do just that to go get some food. Keine Ahnung, mein Bester. Viele. Aber eine genaue Anzahl kann ich dir leider nicht sagen. Okay. Let's see. Can I enter that freaking shop this time? Yes. No, don't punch him in the face, dude. What's wrong? I want to... I want to talk to the guy, not punch him in the face. Alright, let's go to the other shop.
No punching people in the face. The, the sneaking was... You? Mm. No building materials. Okay. Let's go to the bar. Here. Him. Come here. And let's buy all that food. Nice. We have a stock back and some more. Uh, could actually hire a third person, but it's not useful yet. I want to find building material. So don't go in pe into people's houses. They do not appreciate it. Good. Nothing useful for me. Oh, come on, dude. Actually ran out of coffee again. But it is six o'clock in the afternoon, so coffee no longer. A priority. At, not at this hour. If I drink coffee at this hour, I'm gonna be awake at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm not 20 anymore. I am not 20 anymore. I almost can say I was 20, 20 years ago. What are your plans for the weekend, buddy? It's Easter weekend for you, isn't it?
<clears throat> Gruber, you're in here and you don't say a freaking word. Shame on you. Shame on you. Yeah, a walk is always a good idea. You said you're from North Germany. Take her to Hamburg and have a walk around the harbor. How far are you from Hamburg, actually? Just for you to know, Hamburg is my favorite city in Germany. Well, it would be a weekend well spent. Three hours. I want you to come here. Business. Still not selling. Shame on you. Shame on you. So, which city are you closer then? Which city is closer to you? Right, six more. There we go. Armor plating, iron plates, that's, that's something for the future. That's something for the future. Right? Uh, that's not the pub. That's the pub. Griefswald. I've never been to Griefswald, or at least I don't remember that I've ever been to Alt. Uh, 
Oh, I can't stack in here. Crap! But we got a bunch of food. That's good. That is good. Stralsund. There I've been. Stralsund I've been. Only once, but I've been there. Alright. We're getting there, slowly but surely. What do you want, dude? Be me be. I'm accompanied by a lady. Leave me be. Oh yeah, I can turn the camera like this as well. Right? Come here. Both of you are sneaking. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I actually just watched a video I made in Stralsunde at one point. There were wild ducks on the river there, like 30 something. If I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves. If memory serves, and usually it does, don't quote me on that. Rostock, I, I don't remember being there. I've been to many cities. In Oh, you still have one? Ah, come on, dude, what you do? What you do? Oh, luckily we have enough space. Still pressing the wrong button. Uh, look at this, laboring, lab level 55. He got a toughness of 4 because he got beaten up. I should actually send him more often into houses. Oh, there's a sandstorm.
Since you got a building material on you, torch post, put it down here, confirm, and tell you to, where is it? There it is. There we go. Good man. See how much that light source has increased their speed? They're working at the same speed as in daytime. We got money! We got money! Got some money. Not a lot. Bring them back to the city. And go to the... Eh. Shop. Which is... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that sound. Uh, half of it it is. Half of it it is. Only six? Come on! It is a natural reserve. But really, you really have to be careful when hiking around those parts, as you, as you saw, those bare parts are giant, are huge. OK. 
Come on, Rusty. 22. We need two more. All right, the building condition is increasing. So we have one more day of uh, copper mining in front of us. And then we can start doing some stuff. Maria, Maria, Maria. Uh, no, we have brown bears. And we have brown bears enough to share with everybody. So if you're looking to get a bear, just ask. <laughs> Don't even know if we have black bears. We definitely don't have grizzlies. We will have actually enough money to get ourselves a good companion afterwards. Oh, you still have one. Why, why didn't he put it in? I don't get him. I don't freaking get him. Don't worry guys, we will be mining through the night, again. The night is long and full of terrors. Yeah, money in the night. The best time for it.
actually I'm gonna move this here because it is a single one anyway Money, money, money can be funny in a rich man's world. I hear coyote. And dawn is coming. I think I'm gonna go for three hours and then that's it for today at least and since Gruber is otherwise occupied tomorrow and we're not going anywhere I think I'm gonna stream some more Kenshi tomorrow morning Oh, a whole stack of food disappeared in the meantime. Hungry buggers they are. Not sure what time the shops open, but we will go until 10 o'clock. Takes them almost a half an hour to... Pick out one four. All right, ten o'clock is upon us. And though. Um, up with both of them. Take them out of sleep. Come on, dude. Yeah. There they come. And let's sell some stuff. And then buy some more stuff. I can get all that. I can get have all that. I believe that Maria has a Inventor stuff as well. Alright. So let's go finish our house. Uh dude. Can I please have my camera angle back? Thank you. Come here and finish the house. All right.
And the house is finished. Right. Uh, tech. More research bench. I can put this or this. There. Confirm. Perfect. We are doing good. And we have 19k. Okay. I'm gonna tell you to operate in the research and I want uh, I want our box, or box, storage box. Public sales. Got two. Ten. And that's about all we can do. All right, dude, you're staying there. Maria, you come and get yourself a companion. Yeah. Sweet. Let's see. Who do we want? Is thirty four eighty. She right, you know what? Come here. Huh? Um, ich habe keine Ahnung, um ehrlich zu sein. Ich habe keine Ahnung. But we are going to find out this. Do I wonder how much he would cost. I'm gonna get a plain old one. Three thousand credits, so we can have some stuff left over. All right, meow. Uh, she's a female again. I don't know about any other female followers off the top of my head but there has been someone the other day I'm gonna take Begonia Confirm. Nice. All right. Before I do anything else, I want this dude to build us 
Um, or storage. But a closed door. That's actually huge. Why is it so big? Right? Confirm that. Go to town. Uh, stop the jobs. Go to town. What are you missing? Iron plates. I knew I should have bought iron plates. Well, get back to what you were doing. We're gonna take her, her and tell them to go do some more digging. We will tell them both to operate machinery. Be sneaky and passive. Where are the girls? Holy, or they leave. I want them to stop by the house so I can give, give them some food. We don't have a food box yet, which now that I'm thinking of, uh, building materials, oh there's a, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, you two, get your asses back here. And before that, I just saw that there is a special chest for copper. That? Come in here, both of you. No, it's fine. Come in here. I said you and you. Come in here. What the heck? Oh, it's paused. Ladies, what the heck are you doing? Oh, this freaking thing is... Right? And your inventory and 
one food on you, two food on you, and on you. There we go. And then I'm taking both of you to our secret spot. Nikki, and do your jobs. I should have given her the medic kit. And there they go. You, dude. Put down a storage copper. Right there. Firm. But before you do that, you have to come to the shop, which is not open. Ah, it's five o'clock in the morning. Nobody op opens a shop at five o'clock in the morning. There we go. Shop is open. Come to this dude, great, and iron plates, all of them, thank you, bring all those iron plates back home, that, there we go, and now we have an Copper storage. You. What else can you do? Uh, books. Another storage box. Food. Copper, iron plate, weapons cabinet, story. There we go. We will be putting that right here. Bam! Confirm that. Come and do it. What do you need for this? Building material. Okay. I know where to get that. Get back here. Okay. Good. And give me all those. Yes, the girls are already working. They're merely, merely, merely working. Build that. There we go. And now I want you to build another storage box for items. You to build a box. 
it. You know what? We're not gonna put it there. Outside. It there. Firm. And build it. And no, that or that is into here. Wait, I want you to come over here and drop all that meat there. See, we already have ten copper in here. And since we have money, not pause, we will be coming to the pub. That building over there, I don't want to get arrested again. Although it do, it would do him good. And I want to trade more food. Bam. I mean, there we go. There's a little bit of food, not too much, but there is. Right now, we want to focus a little bit on one. more technology. So, I want you to show me your goods. That is 200 something. Huh. There. Now we should be able to make some more research. Um, let's do that. Oh, fabric manufacturer. Let's do the small house because we're going to be needing it. And 
And that's about all that we can do right now. And Rusty's hammering away. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Twenty copper, people. Twenty freaking copper. Aha! What I do want to build is campfire. Do I want to build a campfire? I want to build a torch post right there. I'm gonna actually build a campfire right about here. Firm, stop what you're doing and that. Are you doing it? Oh, dude, come on. There we go. And do your job again. Proof stone mining going up. Lock picking. Right, let's see some stats. Okay, so she's got laboring skill of 43 and strength of 2. And Begonia has got a laboring skill of 10 already. Hammering away at that. Nice. Everything is going fine. And you, dude, he has a laboring skill of 57, athletics of 21, due to so much running around, and now he's working on science. <laughs> being sciencey. He is being sciencey. Imagine that. Lockpick training is complete. I want you to come over here. No, not here. Come over here. Pick all that up. Then pick all that up. Pick all that up. Uh, pause the jobs. Go over there. Come to this dude. Show me your goods. Sell all that shit. And buy. Some more sciencey stuff. You know what? Buy them all. Now we're down to 7,000. I want you to come back home. Three. Drop the 
down all that stuff. And we want simple clothing, clothing types that. Tech level 2. There we go. Gonna get a... Gonna be a little bit of time. I'm not watching the girls because if they get in trouble, there's gonna be an, an icon. The background turns red and I know that there is issue, pause the game, bring them home, all that jazz. But they've been doing very well up until now. Very, very well up until now. Add a squad. I'm gonna call this squad Mining one. I'm gonna put Pia and Tonya. What? Mining. Fabric manufacturing done. Uh, you know what, dude? Uh, let's go to the pub. Get some more food because these girls are eating us out of our wealth. Trade that. and drop all that there we go get back to work motherfucker now I'm not sure if I get notification if they're in trouble when I'm not looking at their squad. I hope so, but I don't know. I'm just waiting for tech level 2 to be uh, researched, I guess, so that I can put down the level 2 tech bench. How are the girls doing? Oh, we're back to 15. Nice. Laboring is going up, athletics is going up, stealth is going up, everything is going up. Swimming. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, we will. At one point. Don't know when that will be, but we will. Basic weaponsmithing is being researched. Oh, check that out. Check that out. The girls are insane. Insane in the membrane. Laboring is going up. Hers is at 80. Came home to. Clothing, weapon. Um, yes, logically, it would seem so. Although, I think I shown you at the beginning. See, I can have two people on one node at at the same time. Which means that even if I put a turned one on, it's not gonna work. And now both girls are going home for some reason. <laughs> My you <year> too. <laughs> you're not old. You're not a lot older than me. You're a bit older, but not a lot older. Cypress Hill, Doctor Dre, Re actually. Alright, apparently Rusty is done, and I want Rusty get back in there. I want Rusty to build us bench number two. Why are you finicky? Go back. Yeah, as mentioned, you're older, but not a lot older. Oh, they pass it. You're just six years older than me. What do we need? Iron plates 10. So let's bring Rusty over here. Get some more iron plates. Dude, over here.
Iron plates. That's it. You're only six years younger than, uh, older than me. Yeah. Grab one. That. I turned her off. Genius. I totally agree. I feel 18 with 21 years of experience. Come on, dude. Finish it. Weak. Now come over here. And come over here. Too. Take all those. So and dismantle that. Right? That. And build me torch post. That good man. Now drop all those back in. Let's see, what can we do? Oh, I can do levels already. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. I want to learn sleeping bags. Through stone mining, storage box crafting, weapon melting, and that's about it. I right, do you work your ass off? Hey, dude! <laughs> Sorry, man! Oh, thank you! Sorry, but uh, I didn't see it. I just saw it. Twitch chat pops, uh, pops up on my... Uh, on my screen, I have to use that uh, combined chat again. I have to check if I can somehow manipulate the quality of that. Not sure. How are you doing, buddy? How's life treating you?
I've never played Mafia. I never played Mafia for some reason. What do you need now? Oh, okay. We're good on that. Dude, get back to work. Uh, so I need power for tech level 3. Yeah, I saw I saw the notifications in the morning when I woke up. Every time when you stream, it's so late for me that I can't catch you online. I see the notifications only the next morning. How's Ooh. Told you that these girls are eating me out of my pants. The bar open. Stop your job. Come over here. Oh, hello. That's actually nice. Well, we are on a different time zone, but the time gap shouldn't be as big. How late is it for you right now? For me, it's 7 p.m., 7.60. Get back to work, dude. 50. Well, you know what? Don't get back to it. Grab all this. Bam. Wrong button. Bam. Let's go make some money. Money, money. Come over here. Let's do some business. There we go. And I want buy hemp and all and all these. There we go. Drop all the. We will be needing that. Now go back to it. There we go. I wonder how I can increase the quality of those uh, overlays. Okay, so you're actually one hour behind me. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you know what? I want to come over here and spend some more money. Dude, I told you to come over here and spend some more money. Huh? And 
I want. Get your ass back to the job. Drop all those. Set up some more research. Uh, I know, Friggy. <laughs> I, I know the time zone of uh, of Germany. I didn't know the ti time zone of uh, Turkey, Volsen. You're from Turkey, if I remember correctly. Actually, the overlay is coming from um, sound sound elements. Uh, sound alert, sorry. They have the, this option there to make uh, overlays. And I guess you could say that I rounded some corners, but not all of them. Howard Stone Reform. Hmm. That. Bed. Yeah, you you told me about Botrix. I have to I have to work on uh, on my overlays a little bit. I also set up uh, um which vod not to save the overlays. I'm curious if it works because I was I streamed a uh, little nightmares yesterday and when I've cut up the VOD for YouTube, I didn't actually like how it looked. And it wasn't about because of the quality. Let's see. Wind generation theory. Light wind. Not looking into f uh, farming yet. I will be looking into training dummies because they can help with upgrading our weapon skills later on Right. We're back to twenty five copper wheat. 
Sweet. Oh crap, I already went over. <laughs> well, try wiping it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, how's food doing? Ah, oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I told you I'm gonna work their fingers to the bone. <sighs> you went hungry on the way back, really? Come on, woman. Maria, Maria, Maria. YouTube, brother, thank you for joining in. Okay, let's see. What can we build? Uh, mining. Stone processor, stone mine, iron rock binary, stone processor. What do you do? Okay. This is a big mother duck. Up. Power consumption ten. Right, let's look into the clothing. I do want to put down some beds. What does a bed call? Fabrics, four fabric. Okay. Crafting.
know what? I want you on top. Right there. And a loo. No. French. You. So, oh. confirm those, and you need iron plates, or oh, you, you even need power. Okay, so let's... Crafting, building... Oh, it's a it, just finishing up research. Wait, wind generate turbine. So where is it? Power wind generator. Ooh, crap! Look at that thing. I'm not going to be able to put that down anyway. Wish I could, but uh. So dude. You Stop that over here. Pick up ten iron plates and finish this one off. Right. Wheat. Then I want you storage. Uh, I guess here. Now, yeah, grab so 
goes back in. Grab one. Grab all this. Come and finish the job. Rusty? Dude. Finish the job. I suppose that put that in there should be able to empty. That's not where that should go. <laughs> there we go, and that means that that where did you put the fabrics? Oh, I didn't pick them up. Only one. That's it? There you go. Alright people, this will be it for this stream. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that follow button if you haven't yet. If you're curious as to what adventures we had in other games, don't hesitate to jump over to my YouTube channel where you can find a bunch of contact content on different games and if you're there don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel share with friends and family so that the channel gets more views and leave a comment to let me know what i did well or what i can improve on but up until next time i wish you all a good morning good afternoon or good evening stay frosty have fun make history bye bye y'all